How to care for your baby's teeth. Hello guys. Welcome to my channel KZTV. When to start brushing your babies. Most parents believe that they need to start with proper dental care only after the first teeth have broken through. But you should actually start much earlier. A gentle cleansing of the gums of the baby is beneficial for a good oral health. In addition, your child gets used to it and will have their teeth brushed as soon as they grow. Learn to open your baby's mouth properly. Some babies may struggle if they try to open their mouths to clean the gums or brush their teeth. It is very important that you do not use any force to open your mouth as you could hurt your baby. If you're having trouble, you can try opening his mouth to give him the pacifier and instead put your finger or toothbrush in it. It's not a good idea to get your baby to open his mouth to something edible because your baby will be very frustrated if he does not get it afterwards. Learn to properly cleanse your baby's gums before the first teeth come. You can use a clean, damp wash mitt to clean your baby's gums. But it cannot be that easy to handle. Some parents feel more comfortable using their finger. When you use your finger, it is of the utmost importance that your hand is clean before you put it in your baby's mouth. There are special cleaning tools that you can buy to clean your baby's gums. These are made of soft rubber and usually have small, soft bristles on the surface. They are designed to be pushed onto the end of an adult's index finger so that the bristles are on the inside of the fingers. This allows easy handling inside the baby's mouth. Do not use toothpaste. At this age, it is not really necessary to use toothpaste, even toothpaste for toddlers. Instead, one should only wet the gum cleanser, brush, cloth, or finger, before putting it into the baby's mouth. You should make several movements through the mouth while gently rubbing the gum surface. Of course, it is important not to move too close to the neck. Otherwise, the baby could start choking and possibly breaking. Brush your baby's teeth right after the breakthrough. You should continue to clean your baby's gums using the same methods, even if the first teeth are already coming. But do not forget to clean your teeth as well. Once a few more teeth have arrived, you can invest in your first baby toothbrush. Get a baby toothbrush. Look for a baby toothbrush with a small and soft head and rounded bristles that easily adapt to your baby's small mouth and little teeth. The brush must have a long handle, so it is easy to hold and easy to handle in the baby's mouth. Learn to properly position the toothbrush to effectively cleanse your baby's teeth. The best way to brush your teeth is to put your baby face down on your lap. This makes it easier for you to move your arm and clean your teeth properly. Brush your baby's teeth twice a day. You should clean your baby's teeth twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Place a pea-sized portion of toothpaste on the toothbrush, cleaning the inside and outside of the teeth in a gentle circular motion. If you can, gently pry your baby's tongue to remove the bacteria. Just do not go too far down the throat with the brush. Otherwise, you could stimulate your baby's gag reflex. If you're using a fluoride-free toothpaste, you do not need to worry about it if your baby does not spit it out because it can be swallowed safely. Help your baby to bite as painlessly as possible. During teething, your baby's gums will swell and hurt. You can alleviate these symptoms by doing the following. Gently massage the gums with your finger. Make sure your hands are clean before you do that. Give your baby something to bite and chew on, such as a teething ring. Do not give him anything with small parts that could suffocate. Take your baby to the dentist when it is one year old. It is recommended to bring your baby to the dentist for his first birthday. At this stage, your baby already has some teeth that the dentist can examine to see if they are developing properly. The dentist will also check for any cavities or gum diseases and will advise you on proper oral hygiene. Make sure your baby does not eat too many sweets and starches. Sweets and starchy foods can cause cavities in the teeth. Sweetened drinks such as fruit juices can cause the decay of your baby's teeth. The sugar of the juice produces bacteria on the tooth surface, which can lead to cavities. When you buy baby food, make sure it does not contain any extra sugars. If you are doing the baby food yourself, do not add sugar. Do not give your baby any juice or other sweet drinks before going to bed. If your baby wants to drink before bed, give him milk or water. Tips. Let your child drink water after each meal. This removes some of the food from your teeth and gives your teeth a little fluoride. 
Discard your baby's toothbrush after three months or when the bristles begin to curve and break. In addition to proper oral hygiene, proper nutrition and a visit to the dentist are part of proper dental care. When the baby begins to eat solid foods, it is important to think of a good diet so that his teeth, as well as the rest of the body, remain strong and healthy and grow well. Sweets, ice cream and other sweets should not be part of his diet. If you're having trouble, you can try opening his mouth to give him the pacifier and instead put your finger or toothbrush in it. It's not a good idea to get your baby to open his mouth to something edible because your baby will be very frustrated if he does not get it afterwards. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.